Now in this question then, we're given that 5 sine x equals 1 plus 2 cos squared x. We've got to show that we get that quadratic 2 sine squared x plus 5 sine x minus 3 equals 0. And that's quite straightforward because what you should know is that cos squared x can be expressed in terms of sine x. Hopefully you remember this identity. Let's just write it down over here. You should know that sine squared of any angle, let's say x, plus cos squared of the same angle, x, is always going to be identical to 1. So if we rearrange this equation and make cos squared x the subject by subtracting sine squared x from both sides, we therefore have cos squared x is identical to 1 minus sine squared x. So that's what we've got to use here. And so therefore what we've got is 5 sine x equals the 1 plus 2 and in place of cos squared x we're going to write 1 minus sine squared x. So 1 minus sine squared x. So we now need to expand the bracket. So we've got 1 plus and then if we expand this we've got 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times minus sine squared x is minus 2 sine squared x. We've got a quadratic equation in sine x because we've got a sine squared x here so we need to rearrange this make this term positive so if we add 2 sine squared x to both sides we've got 2 sine squared x and then we've got this term plus 5 sine x and then we've got equals 1 and 2 which is 3 and if we now subtract 3 from both sides we end up with what we've got to show and that is 2 sine squared x plus 5 sine x minus 3 equals 0 a quadratic then in sine x okay well that brings us to the end of this part of the question